Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to do a review on Angel Craft Vinyl. And what it is, is sticky vinyl, sticky bag vinyl. And it comes in 35 sheets. And you can see they come matte and glossy, which is wonderful. And you can see all the colors. Look at this. I mean, you can see that there's such a different array, so many different... Uh, you know, greens and, and, and reds and all that kind of thing. And they're fantastic. And they, they are, um, six by 12, which is a great size. I want to get my hands on the individual full sizes, but the fun that you can have with these. Now, you know, I'm a mixed media artist. I'm an art journaler. I'm a painter. Um, so I'm going to play with these, uh, to see what we can do with them in our art, because that's what I'm going to use them for. But, you can use them on your car windows, on your windows. You can use them uh, on, which I think is a lot of fun, if you do pictures. You know, in the picture frames, on the glass, you can do little decorations around it. Uh, you know, their names, the dates. Uh, you know, when you know how some people now, my kids are grown, but um, they do like the first month picture, then the or the first year picture, then the second year. You know how they do that, and then you can cut these out. You can use it on your brother scan and cut your site, your cry cut, whatever you have. Silhouette works fantastic, and it also works great with your punches. So let me just show you a few things. I did show you all the, um, you know, the colors and all. So. You want to do, uh, I don't know, you want to get these so you use them for what you do. Now, I did some stamping and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm going to show you what we can do. First, let me show you. This is, I just cut out these pieces off of it because I've been playing with it and I used it in my scan and cut. Delicious. It cuts fine. Use an eight. Use the setting eight is what I used. Uh, I tried it on a five and it just did not cut through the vinyl uh, or the backing rather um, because it's a little, they're a little thick, which you want. You don't want it to be, you know, like tissue paper. So this is the glossy. This is the matte and you can see the difference as I turn it. It's very, this one's very glossy and I used alcohol ink. So you can see I used two different color alcohol inks and kind of blended it. Very, very cool. And then I used my uh, archival ink, Ranger Archival ink, which means that when it dries, it's permanent. And um, just a very fine uh, stamp, of course, with the spider and spider webs, because you know I like the, the weird. And uh, look how wonderful that looks. And it dries just like it would be on anything else. And then here is the yellow mat. So my light's kind of being funny today. Um, and you can see the yellow mat. It's delicious. It does it absolutely perfectly and dries and you can use all the colors. And then of course, here is my crooked stamp that I used, but you could see it's on there. And then I have, let's move this. I just have a punch. We all have punches and you can see I punched this out and I did it close to the edge. And I'm going to show you why in a second, but that's all I did was punched it out. And then this came out very cool. That's the glossy, no problem. And then I punched it out of the yellow mat. Again, there's the, you know, what come out of it. I'm not going to see it that great. And again, not an issue. And I'm going to show you that in a second. So first, what I want to do, and I'll show you my ideas on that. This is the matte one. Let's take our punch. I'm going to put it all the way in the back. I'm going to let it go like that. Take it out. I mean, literally, and I, you know, I have RA and fibro and I'm disabled and that was nothing. And you know, we all have punches. You can get them at the dollar store um, and all that kind of stuff. Random. It doesn't matter because you can use this in your mixed media art in different ways. So much fun. So let me show you how it cuts through the glossy, just so you can see. Same thing. Then I just do that and voila. Easy peasy. Okay. So it says that you can put it on glass and it will uh, last up to five years on your car, outside, anywhere like that. And so this is just a glass. I use this candle of mine so you can see it real good. This is the white sticker on the glass. Now, I've not tried it, but 
If you read in the reviews on Amazon, uh, people say that they've done this and put it into the dishwasher. Now, I don't know about that, but what I'm going to do is take some of my spray water. And let's just see. This is on there. I have it on there. It's not coming off. But you all know if you're using stickers. Now, these are vinyl, so it's not going to penetrate from the top and get to that sticky. But I'm just going to spray some water on there for a few seconds. And let's see what happens. Now, you know if this was a paper sticker, I probably should have put a paper sticker on here so you all could have seen. Uh, but if you're into art, you know that paper sticker will come up. The corners will come up. Now, I'm rubbing. Listen. Nothing. 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 It's not coming off. So they're saying you can decorate your, your glasses, your wine glasses, uh, whatever. And I think... One of the fun things I did years ago, which I really want to start doing again, is I used to take glass plates and decorate them with all kinds of stuff. And this would be so much fun. That's why I said I can't get, wait to get, I want to get my hands on the big ones. But, and if I get the big ones, um, I will definitely do, you know, bigger projects. So that's glass. That's on there. It's not rubbing off. It's not doing anything. So that's pretty impressive. So imagine if you have kids and you want to make sure that they're drinking out of the right cups or you have visitors over, the kids having a play date, wine glasses, you know, how fun would it be to cut out little pictures? So instead of putting the wine tags on with everybody's initials and names, you can just do that. And when you're done, take them off. So much fun. So much fun. Okay. I love new products I can use. I can't stand it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do... I'm going to show you a couple things. We have our white here. This feels, if you want to know what the glossy feels like, it feels like glossy uh, photo paper. So use this any way you would use any type of glossy paper. Obviously, you have your uh, alcohol inks and stuff. There's Copics. There's uh, Sharpies will work. I don't know. Do I have a Sharpie around here? I don't think so. Let me see. Let me see. Hmm. No, I have my, this, but I know this is out of ink. Yeah, this is out of ink, so that's not going to be a good one. I'll have to grab a Sharpie and, uh, you know, do my thing on it. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to take a piece of paper. Let's grab a piece of paper. Okay. Ugh. And look how fun. Let's move these because i got to put my paper down first. That's my paper. Let's use this. Now, imagine this is anything, right? Here we go. Now, look, if you want to use this part to stick on anything too, that's awesome as well. You could, I mean, really, you're, you know, it's all what you want to do. It's all up to your imagination, you know? But we're going to use this for a second, and I'm going to move this up here. And you guys know I like the creepy and disgusting. So I'm going to lay that there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my alcohol ink blotter and I'm just going to use it with I'm just doing this just because I want some of that black on there I know this is almost empty but we're gonna rock it and very carefully you know if you push it down it's gonna pull those little poopies up bloopies and I'm just tapping it and look let me move in a little bit. You have a great stencil. So you're getting bang for your buck. You got a great stencil. How awesome is that? You don't have to, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I like to take one product and turn it into 30 products that we can use. Now you're making your own stencils as well as getting great die cuts. Okay. Now I don't have any sprays here, but I'm going to use this. So let's pretend that we want it a little different. We want the opposite. So I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to do it upside down though this time because I'm going to hold the bigger end and I'm going to take this and I'm going to pat it, right? Just patting it. And if you don't have one of these, use a Q-tip, use a brush, use whatever you want. You just want to be dry. Don't add water. And look, now we have, you can make both. So you can also make stencils, which I think is fantastic. Um, but bang for your buck, bang for your buck. Fantastic. Now let's see if we can use some black acrylic paint which I'm sure we will 
I'm just doing a little blob. And I'm going to take it and put it here and go up and tap it. Obviously, the more you tap it and push it down, the more, you know, color you're going to get. Look. Awesome. So you can use it with your ink pads. You can use it with your uh, acrylic paint. I'm sure you can use it with your sprays, but why not? Let's try it. All right. I'll use this. Let's hope it, it might not spray out like I want it to, but I'm going to turn this over because if you see those little, uh, little boopies are coming out a little bit, sticking out, and I don't necessarily want that, but let's see if our, this might be a bust because my doesn't spray well, but let's just do sprays. Nope, I smeared it. That's my, that's the user's fault. Let's just do a little bit like that. I'll leave that sit there for one second. That's because I got to clean my nozzles. But you can see, you get it there a little bit. Um, my my spray's not coming out that good. So that's that's not really a good one. But you can see that you definitely can use them. And I'll show you. What, now I'm just pushing this down on the other side where I sprayed to get all that extra spray up. Just so I have, you know, some more on my mixed media paper. Because I'm going to use this as a background, so why not? And just take the rest off. Fantastic. So I might have to, I have to find another spray, but I don't know. I don't know other sprays I have. They're clogged. I've been trying to use them for days, and I just have to sit down and clean them. Oh, that's my fault. My fault, my fault, my fault. Let's shake this and see. Oh, my dog just kicked me under the table. All right. Let's do it this way. There you go. No, I drag, I dragged it a little bit, but you can see right there. And you can also see my hands. <laughs> Look, you can do put your hands down there and make your own fanciness. Oh, this, this these are just so much fun to play with. I I can sit here all day and show you this, that, the other. And then again, I like to turn it over and then use whatever you have and just dab off whatever extra you have. And it just becomes another layer. Look at that. Another layer in on your painting. Now these are the Deco Art uh, media, media Misters. And they're permanent. So they're going to dry permanent and stain this. So just know that if that's what you're using. Now, here's another thing. Very quick. I'm not going to keep you here forever. Like, here's another thing. But it's just so much fun. I could sit here for hours. Sorry. That's somebody upstairs doing I don't know what um this let's say now we could cut this like we can use our die cutter and cut it out and look what it gives us we have this great alcohol ink you could put this on metal and glass and you know what whatever you have wood plastic it doesn't matter and you can decorate imagine having all these really pretty flowers i have a flower die cut upstairs and i should have brought it down but i could have cut out tons of flowers and used them done a very cool uh, abstract background with blue and green and then cut the flowers out and alcohol ink them or whatever and uh put them on like that i know what i wanted to show you that just reminded me all right so let's move this so I'm going to take a little bit more black, nothing major. I'm going to take a paintbrush. I'm not going to wet it. Just going to stick my paintbrush in. Now look at the, the delicious colors of this. Can you see them all? The variegation? Oh, just the, the fun you can have with alcohol inks. And listen, on my channel, I have a ton of uh, videos showing how to make your own alcohol inks at home. Alcohol spray, alcohol ink uh, with all kinds of things that you could find at home. I will link one of those videos around here, but if you want a new, fresh, updated one, let me know down below and I will gladly do it. So now what I'm gonna do is paint. And this is the acrylic paint on the matte one. So you can see that if you want to, I should have done that, but if you want to do a uh, something on here and draw or whatever, you definitely can paint them and make these handmade for putting on your windows or your car or in your art or on your wall or on your cups or on your glasses, on your pictures, on your frames. You see what I'm saying? It's fantastic. Now let's try, this is the glossy one. Let's see how that works. 
You see what the alcohol ink, it looks fantastic. You see with the stamp, it's fantastic. Let's see what happens with, which I don't think it's going to be too... Oh, look at that. It goes on better than on that. Maybe I just have more paint, but look at that. You can even paint on this with regular acrylic paint. Are you freaking kidding me? I did not expect this. I'm going to tell you right now. I didn't expect it. This opens up. I could go on for an hour about all I can do with this. I'm so excited. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So let me know what you guys think about this. I love, I just, I love it. And I'm going to be using them a lot in my mixed media. I have so many ideas. So keep your eyes open because um, you'll see me use them. You'll see me use them after I get these sprays open that drives me insane. But I'm going to put the link down below uh, if you want to check them out. And let me tell you how much they are. They're $11.99 and they're on Prime. So you get uh, 30 sheets. They're permanent adhesive. Uh, backed vinyl is what they call it. Permanent, permanent adhesive backed vinyl. And they're for use in your scan and cut, your cry cut, your silhouette, whatever, your punches. You can use scissors. You, what's my favorite thing to do in the world is to fold things <laughs> in half because hearts are one of the easier things to do. And then look, let's do this. Let's say you don't have money and you don't want to go out and buy stencils. Look, now we got a stencil. Look at that. Fantastic. You have a stencil now and you have a heart. Maybe you want to do the background on awesome color and cut it out. And now you can use this on your, well, you might not want the drippy blood, but now you can use this on your car or windows and your mixed media. How cool to do a cool background. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to use uh, a couple of these in my mixed media today. That's what I'm going to do. And then look, now you have this cool that stencil too, or a piece for your art. Oh, my mind. $11.99 on Prime, which means if you're a Prime member uh, from Amazon, you get them in two days. They are lovely and fantastic, and I just am going to be using a lot of them. And I love it because you get all these different colors. Now, listen, maybe you are ch moving your art room around, and I know a lot of you are redoing your art rooms, changing rooms, moving, and all that. Maybe you want some uh, labels for things. You can just cut out, you know, with... Uh, or even stamp on here with your letters and cut it and then put it on different things. So you say, oh, this is my uh, stencils. This is my paper. This is whatever. I mean, think it's, the ideas are endless. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Please check out the link down below for these. These are not expensive. They are $11.99. You get all these papers and you see they're big. You can do all kinds of stuff with them. And uh, let me know what you think down below. And I hope y'all have a fantastic day. And if you already have these, let me know how you use them. So guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.